the first time that we saw the Wavelengths puzzle, my mind was blown. You look at it and you think, what is this thing? Why does it look this way? What does it do? This is made from four identical pieces of stainless steel that assemble into two interlocking donuts. These donuts can kind of spin and turn freely, which raises this question about how does this thing come apart? How did this thing get assembled? That's where the, the challenge of this being a puzzle comes in. So the first time I saw the Wavelengths puzzle, it looked like this in a 3D print. You can see the basic idea is here. In playing with this thing just for five, 10 minutes, I realized it was something special. At Art of Play, we are not manufacturing experts. We curate, create, and source magical objects from all over the world. And when we found the Wavelengths puzzle and decided we wanted to make it out of metal, we couldn't think of anybody faster than Craig Hill. Yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. We have to make this puzzle. It was gonna be a complicated thing to make, but I just knew that we had to figure this out. So you got Craig Hill and you got Art of Play. <laughs> you come together to make the Wavelengths puzzle. Soon after we got the sample, I had a long call with Rod, the designer of the puzzle. I think you have that sketch now, where the first little drawing was just sort of an S-shaped yeah, curve. Great. My thing was, well, what if there was something else that was already kind of linked, and then that was what twisted apart. One of the reasons this puzzle is so elegant is that despite the fact that it looks like two identical pieces, it's actually four. The fact that they're all the same only adds a layer of impressive design. I don't know. Rod really figured something out here. When the group got together and Hunter and I spoke about how would this even be possible and whether or not they could pull it off, I was really excited, but also wondering whether it was going to work. Figuring out all of the manufacturing challenges is its own puzzle. And working hand in hand with our manufacturers to develop new processes to achieve something that they don't think would be possible. That's part of what I love about what we do. What our friends at Craig Hill managed to do was take this somewhat pedestrian object with a cool idea and make the quality of the physical object itself match the awe-inspiring mechanism that is hidden within. I want it to feel awesome. However, I haven't held that thing yet. This thing turned out like a piece of jewelry. Like, it's beautiful. It's mind blowing. This thing is crazy. Uh. <laughs> I think like a good mystery, a good puzzle solution is both expected and surprising. You don't know exactly how it's gonna happen. And when it does, it fills you with this delight. And so if you can shrink that down into something that is beautiful and lives in your house and you can give that experience to anyone who comes by, I think there's something really special about that.